Here goes nothing. Let's take this guy off. That's not good. Oh my god! The Thunderblank Ganon. This formidable adversary was made by Ganon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Whoa! What? Careful now. It was my pleasure. What? Is happening? How do I fight this? He's so fast. What? Okay. We got to hit in. We lost our sword thing, but we got to hit in. We're going to try this again, guys. There's no way he's that quick. It's not like This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Come on. Just broke his shield. Yes. Yes, yes. That's what we like to see. All right, let's grab something else. Probably our best thing. Okay. We've got shots on him this time. We've got no arrows left, though. What about bomb arrows? Okay, we've got to watch out for that. We're just... Careful now. What do we have here? Let's go ahead and grab a stone smash. It is my pleasure. That third attack is always... I wonder if we can dodge it with a backflip. Hold on, watch this. Dude, we're doing barely any damage to this guy. This is a joke. <laughs> Holy cow, he's powerful. He doesn't stop... How am I supposed to... What if I... Hold on. Can I use stasis on him? No. I'm trying to think of any, like, weird... Weird things we can do. I tried to light that... The, the bomb. Right when he came on top of us, but then that hurt us, too. Holy cow. All right. I... We aren't even close. Like, at least the other ones, when we first tried playing it, we were sort of close. I'm going to look up how you're actually supposed to beat this guy or what the strategy is. All right. So, as it turns out, this is widely known as the most difficult divine beast fight of them all. This Thunder Blight Ganon. He's the toughest. So, we kind of have an idea Watch what to do now, though. It's all about dodging. Dodging and melee attacks, really. <laughs> Get a melee attack in there. He didn't quite. There we go. There we go. Break his shield. Hit him. Hit him. Nice. Gonna switch over to. We'll go to this. That broke. Okay. All right. Gotta watch out here. All right. So he's gonna do these things at us. He's gonna keep throwing these at us. We're gonna look at him. He's gonna come at us. And we're dodge. If you dodge, you just start wailing on him. Let's go, baby. Yes. Keep going. Gonna do some ranged attacks at us. Ah! That's not what we really wanted, but it's okay. Just keep going after him. Beautiful. 
Nice. Oh, what? There is valor in dodging. There is valor in dodging, you're right. Here we go. No! It is my pleasure. Okay, she brought us back up. Oh, she brought us back up just to get hit again. Careful now. Yes, flurry rush. These are the things we need to get. If you get a bunch of flurry rushes with the perfect dodges, that's exactly what you want. Okay. Oh, nice. We're on a phase two of the fight. Let's go. He's half health. We're looking a little weak in the health department, but it's a good sign. We're in the phase two. What do we do here? Watch that lightning. He's electrified. He's dropping lightning rods on us. Hold on. Can we grab these? Oh, I think we can grab these. They're showing up pink. Okay, I got you. We're gonna grab the next one. No! I think we better grab those things and put them over towards him, I'm assuming. We're gonna use his own attack against him. Holy cow, dude, this is, wow. This is really hard. I, uh, I, I was reading up like a bunch of forums and stuff like that and everybody says that this is the hardest one. A lot of people say you should have the like, the, the Master Sword and the Hylian Shield, is that what it's called? Like the two best things in the game. A lot of people said they skipped it as soon as they came across it because it was just, it was too difficult. I think we can do it. I'm gonna stay hard-headed, I'll probably get really frustrated, but I think we can do it. I think we would be in a much better spot if we, uh... Thing is if we had food and stuff, though. See? A little early there. Switch to... Trident. Break it on him. Short sword, nice. We've got to get that perfect dodge. As long as we dodge, we don't even technically need the perfect dodge, really. It'd be nice to be able to do the flurry attacks, but we're still getting it done otherwise. We don't necessarily need it. It's just all about that dodge, baby. Okay. Hit him again. Haven't had any flurry attacks yet, but slowly and surely winning the race. Thunderblade's about to go down. Your shield. Oh! Oh, there is his like triple thing, dude. Yes! Oh, baby. There we go. All right. We're doing okay. We still haven't even used our Mipha's Grace yet. And we're on to this next part, and I think we know what to do. I'm pretty sure we know what to do. Watch that lightning. Oh, we have used our Mipha's Grace. I forgot we did use it. Oops. Okay, they're all gonna be disappeared. We just gotta grab the next one. I don't know what we're supposed to do this part. I think I might have to look it up for this part as well. 
This is just a little confusing. He's, oh, oh, we got him. We got him. We did it right. We did it right. Okay, we did it right. Dude, he's almost down. We only have two-handed clubs left, though. Why does it... I kept pressing the left button and it kept looking to the left instead of locking onto him. Okay, I think we're gonna need, oh man, I think we're gonna need some food. We need to go cook some food. And we're also gonna need, if we can find some one-handed weapons, that might be a, a big win for us. Oh guys, check this out, the hardy durian. This fruit's mighty odor has earned it the nickname king of fruits. It offers immense restorative powers. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase your maximum hearts. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna buy three of those. 180 rupees. That's fine with me. Looks good. Um, cooling effect. Resistance against electricity. Actually, do we have, we might have an elixir for that, an electro elixir. Okay, so we can combine those two. We need to find a place to cook food though. What is all these? Oh, ooh, gourmet steak? Seared prime steak? Seared steak. I mean, we can, I think we can make our own better than all this. I'm gonna buy some more arrows. Uh, we're not gonna buy any arrows, actually. I don't think we need them. Okay. Where can we cook? I need a fire. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the, don't the bananas give you extra damage too? We might be able to make something with that. Okay, we're getting smart here. We need something to cook though. I don't think I'm gonna take my time to go find some, some enemies and, and get new weapons. I think we're gonna be able to beat it with the weapons we already have. But we just need to be smarter about what we're doing. Is there a way we can cook in any of this? Is there? This is something I've always wondered, like, is there a good way to find a place to cook? I don't know how you find a place to cook. All right, we came all the way back to this stable because I knew there was gonna be a place to cook here. So let's go ahead and save and make sure we have the right, I, I don't wanna waste all of our ingredients. So like, these things temporarily increase your attack power. So what if we did two of those and then we did one of those, One of these, and then like two apples. Let's see what happens there. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know if you want to throw meat into a fruit plate, you know what I mean? So we're, we're gonna keep it all fruit, simmered fruit. Okay. So does that, hold on, I want to test this out. I don't know what that five on the thing means. You see how it says five and then they're, Let's try eating this. That did nothing for us. I don't think you're supposed to cook them with other things. I was thinking that would amplify the effect. Oh, wow. Hearty simmered fruit. Full heart recovery plus four extras. That is one of the most powerful things I've seen in this game. That's crazy. All right. So we're gonna hold this one. We're gonna cook that as well. Oh, dude, we, okay, there's no way we're gonna lose this now. I honestly think that we may even wanna, wanna hold on to these things uh, and not even use them for this boss battle because I don't think it's gonna be that difficult. We already did pretty well with it. Um, we just had no fruit and no weapons. If we have one of the two, we'll be okay. Okay, so we got that. Now let's go ahead and, uh, what if we, Hold two of those and do like. Three apples. Let's try that. Let's try to read it to make sure we didn't want to cook them by, our, by themselves again. Make some plantains or something. Grants a low level attack power boost. The sweet dish is made by keeping tasty fruits into a pan. And Okay. That's not bad. Um. And let's go ahead and do this. And is there anything else we can include with that? Stick and carrots. 
I don't think you really want to include anything with that, to be honest. You probably just want to cook it by itself. We'll cook that. Meat skewer looks good. Is there anything else? I just don't know the combinations we should be using. So I guess we could do... Increase your heart. Doesn't have any special effects to increase your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. Okay. So we'll do that. Or actually, we'll just do a, a little simmered fruit dish. We have a bunch of mushrooms. I'm not sure what the, I think the mushrooms work pretty well too. So we've got a simmered fruit there. And then like, um, Stealthy. I don't want to use a stealthy one. I just want to do this. So what if we do four of those? See what happens there. Giant mushroom? Is that gonna work? Mushroom skewer. Yeah, all right. I mean... Might as well do as many of those as we can because they're only gonna get us a half a heart otherwise so put them all together get five hearts at a time sounds good to me that dog needs its belly rubbed right now I would happily do it if I could how do you hold oh X is hold we'll cook that and then we're gonna have three left to cook and we're gonna be good to go so I'm gonna finish cooking those things we're gonna head back to that divine beast and we're gonna make thunder blight Ganon our blah. Are you guys ready to face him for the final time? Here we go, fellas. So we've got our electro elixir working. We've got uh, five minutes, 50 seconds of shock resistance. Got a bunch of fruit, bunch of uh, heart restoration and stuff. I wish we had better weapons, but Watch yourself. beggars cannot be choosers. All right, we're gonna set this up off the bat. Here we go. Let's go ahead and focus on him, come out here. Let's go going quick this time. Alright. Bring it! Unless you're scared. Got him once, got him twice, got him three times. It's gonna break our thing. Switch to the trident. We gotta hit him twice here. Yes. Broke the trident. Okay. these things. Go. Dude, this electric sword is so good, bro. I'm gonna hit him with that because it's so quick it's easy to take down a shield. And then we're gonna switch the big one. I think that's the way to play it. I wish we could get some of those perfect evades. Those are where you really get your money's worth, but... We'll slowly work them down anyway. Back twice. The Electro Sword back out. The Thunder Blade. This thing's actually pretty good. I'm sad to see it go. We're using it a lot here, so we're gonna wear it down, but... See how quick it is to strike versus the two-handed thing? You have to, like, really wind up. Good for taking it down when it's too close. Great. One more. He's gonna bring up the shield. He's gonna attack us again. Dude, we have this down to a side. And then he surprises Careful. us with that double attack. Hold on. I forgot about the double attack, dude. We've been focused on everything else. Go ahead and use this for now. No double attack there. Okay. Alright. We're at the halfway point. Let's go, guys. We're almost flawless so far. If we would have evaded that double attack, we wouldn't have taken any damage or used anything. But we're okay. We're alright here. So we've got to use our Magnesis and we've got to get it up next to him. As fast as possible. He's over here. We want to grab one of the ones that lands in the ground last. Those are some of the last ones. Yes, we got him. There he is. Start, on this. Start 
wailing, baby. Alright. Seriously? Why did that turn me around? I get so mad at this game sometimes because when I'm trying to lock onto somebody, it turns me around like that. What is this shit, dude? Why are you turning me around? Why? I'm trying to lock onto the guy, the only guy in the room in front of me, and you're turning me around. There we go. Yes. It's gonna come out of skin. Oh, what is this? Oh! It's got like a beam attack or something. What was that? We're okay so far. I want him to come at me again. Come on. Thunderblade broke. Are you kidding me? Do we have any other attacks? We have a Boko Club. We've got him right down to the end here, dude. I don't know what's happening. But this is scary. Yes! Oh my god, we got him! Oh my gosh! Woo! Holy cow, we almost... Oh. We almost didn't have enough weapons to finish him off. So many people said we had to have the Master Sword. And we just did it without it, baby. Oh my gosh. Does that feel good? Got ourselves a new heart. Oh man, I feel so accomplished. Just everybody talking about how hard this one was. Oh, it feels, ah, it feels good to get it. I cut out a couple of attempts too that you guys didn't see here. It's not like we beat it in like the third try. It was probably like the seventh or something, but there we go. More maximum hearts. Woo, getting closer. We need 13. For that, uh, that master sword. To you activate the main control unit, you'll not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Yes, I want to activate it. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's gain its power, gain its aid. I wonder what its ability is going to be. So far we have invincible shield for two or three uses. And then um, revive with extra hearts. What is this one going to be? Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. Here's Urbosa. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Here we go. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Bosa's Fury, eh? Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. 
Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh, and also, take good care of her. <laughs> Will do, ma'am. You needn't worry. And that's that, my friends. Holy cow, what a battle. Oh, it's just, it's so relieving to beat these things. Like, you get such a sense of accomplishment. And that, my friends, is the third one we've done. So we only have one more to go. One more Divine Beast. That's it. And then we're going to be able to rush the castle and hopefully take down Calamity Ganon once and for all. Back under our control. Light coming in. Oh, he's got to sit down for this one. It's going to be crazy. Oh. There we go. Just one left. Naboru, legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor him. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboris? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Gerudo. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. Delicious, huh? <laughs> Alright. Well, job well done, guys. I'm going to see you all in our next episode. Peace out.